Hey everybody, welcome to Engineer's Life episode 25. Um, for anyone that cares, I'm feeling quite a bit better. Still got a little bit of a cough and I've kind of been pretty much spending most of my time in bed, but that gave me time to do some things. So, um, the hardest part is drowning out all the noise. So much noise. Like, I, you guys probably can't hear it. Well, I can guarantee you guys can't hear it, but, like... Yeah, just so much noise. It's it's dying down a little bit. With, when, with me talking and shooting episodes and watching different things on the computer, it kind of drowns it out. But still, you just, just moment like every time I want a little peace and quiet, just there's just noise outside or sometimes downstairs. But outside, garbage garbage guys went today, so it was like six in the morning. Sound like there's a party, and yeah. Anyways, so we got back from the end. I went and I took on a bunch of the end portals, or I found I think five end cities, maybe four, before I found the Elytra. So we got that going on. I have this guy powered, and as you can see, I built a um like a like a factory, and that's what I've been doing with my with my downtime until I can actually get out and, you know, do anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anything else. Um, right now, I'm, uh, this episode's a little bit more of the show and tell and to catch up on the achievements that I got, because as you can see, I did a ridiculous amount of stuff. Uh, I can just jump in. I made this jump before, so it's possible. Uh, how did I do it? Oh, there we go. So as you can see, I, I made a bunch of these thermo things. They're really not that great. But they're basically just like backup power. I have a bunch of high voltage capacitors, which I've chewed through like all my resources. Well, that's not true. But like some of the resources I'm pretty much bottomed out on. Like lead. I got rid of almost all my lead. Um... Using high voltage capacitors take a block of lead a piece. So, and it's not like a super popular resource. Aluminum, pretty much gone. You have a good amount of iron and steel and gold and stuff, but that's mostly due to the excavator. Which, I should really speed this up because I can let that run for a while, but I just had it running a little bit. So, I don't really know. I don't know how I'm doing on power right now. So, here's the new factory. I set up two of these cloches with a sink and a pump. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that, but this guy pretty much pumps in watermelons. This guy takes said watermelon, breaks the watermelon down into slices, takes those slices, breaks them down into seeds. And I just set that up twice for now because I don't really, I don't really know what to do. Like, to try to like get it like figured out right. So like, this will, I think this will shoot out. Watermelon slices and seeds? No. <coughs> it's still just doing seeds. So I, I can't have it do both. But if I take this and I make this watermelon here and then I put this here. Will it do both? Or is it just going to do slices now? Now it appears that it's just going to do slices. Oh no, it's doing both. But uh, I can configure it different ways to do different things. Um... You can see my death marker. It's because this stuff's so close together, I keep hitting wires and it kills me. So, yeah, I, I had about three or four death markers. I deleted a bunch. But I, I used um, Obsidian Upgrades. I put three of them on here. So, 190 stacks of watermelon slices. And this can hold 192 stacks of seeds. So, I, I won't be overflowing for quite a while. And when I do overflow and I turn off this machine over here, I will have a significant backstock. So that I could just like, you know, five episodes, five or six episodes later, or, you know, eight or nine days of gameplay, I could just pop it back on and refill my, refill my stock. So, um, I pretty much have a path over here. Um, this is the arc furnace, by the way. Um, I'll do the, uh, graphite electrodes on camera, but, uh, this is the arc furnace. This is the auto crafter assembler. This is the assembler. The assembler is really easy to make. And it's actually kind of cool. I was looking for some sort of auto-crafting thing. So I have that set up. Now, 
If you look at the wiring on the ceiling, you can tell that it is ridiculous. What I did was I put two high voltage capacitors here, three right above the diesel generator, and three along that wall. And I used different power sources like um, nine thermo thingies, thermoelectric dynamo thingies on this side and then six on this side, as well as um, nine water wheels. And um, yeah, I got nine water wheels, um, a total of 15 thermoelectric thingies. And I just have them all, I pretty much have it all hooked together. So then if like I run the biodiesel thing, these guys all stock up four million or four, yeah, four million RF or IF or whatever it is in this one. And then if one of these get low or one of those get low over there, they can all pull power from each other in some way, shape or form somehow. I, I, I didn't really figure it out. It's kind of like wherever I could put a wire, I put a wire. Now, I mean, now there, there's a little bit of thought behind it, a little bit, but not, not a whole lot. Is this off? I don't, this isn't working, and this should be working. Is this off? I'm a little confused on what's going on with this. There we go. Okay, maybe it's just, uh, glitching or something. <laughs> so as you can see, like, this is already out of power. This one here is the 4 million RF that, or IF that's going to the um, excavator, which I have power going out here on a bunch of posts going over, and I have a conveyor belt bringing um, all of our ores right here, which is getting crushed up into here, which this is giving me, you know, uh, not the peridot, peridot I got from the end, but um, the nickel and the tin. It's giving me nickel, tin, and iron, in which, if I move the excavator over to there, I get gold and copper. So, it does give me those, I do have those two options. The only thing is, I don't like moving the excavator, because then that takes a whole lot of nonsense. Uh, before we get on to the next thing, let me go turn the excavator off, because I only let that run for a little bit, which right now I have plenty of resources to, uh, to have to catch up on. So, there's no point in overdoing it. This was more of a, a show-and-tell kind of thing. I was like, hey, look what I did. Because, you know, there's not much else I can do. So, I built this, and I think it's pretty cool. Um, by the way, this, this probably took, like, it took way too long. Like, I, I kind of considered quitting a couple of times. Because it was just like... It took me forever to get them positioned right, rotated right. Like, immersive engineering needs to add an item that will allow you to rotate an entire formed machine. Like, that would be... That would be completely awesome. <coughs> or, maybe I just gotta learn how to put the projectors... Use the projectors correctly. But, now the, uh... The biodiesel generator will fill up those three 4 million RF batter IF batteries, and um, the, uh, and it'll backstop with biodiesel, and all that will run off itself. So that's just, it's kind of how I have it set up. Now, this guy in here, I took the four peak generators I had spread out all over the place, and I put them all together here, and I have them connected to, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, I'm still, I still got a little bit of a, yeah, you know. But anyways, um, it's just like, this is more or less for backup power. And this is powering all of this stuff. And this is the only place I use medium voltage connectors, because well, I figured it's the only place that would actually need it. I probably could have went with high voltage, but I had, you know, some medium voltage put back. So I figured I might as well use it for something. And I figured this is a pretty good pretty good way. Um, I have two carpenters. This carpenter is making um, bog dearth, and this thing's making the, the mulch. It's not completely automated, but if I click this guy, 
it will make the bogged earth, and the bogged earth will go. <laughs> we'll drop through a hopper, hit the conveyor belt, go around here, and go up to this farm where I have the bogged earth at now. And then these things are just like backup. I gotta figure out something else to do with them. Like, like I said, it's probably been about five days of me doing this, so I haven't figured out everything, but I got like a lot done. So, so yeah. Um, and I haven't touched any of the end loot, not really. Um, the stuff that's in my inventory I had in a chest down here where my where my ore excavator used to be. But uh, this guy will fill this chest up with peat. And then the conveyor belt. Are you serious? I can't reach that? Alright, whatever. <coughs> if I flip the switch, the conveyor belt will take bog dearth up to to this guy, which right now I could probably take like a stack. Maybe a stack and a half. I'm I'm not overly I'm not overly concerned about it because uh well. I uh, it doesn't it doesn't even need a stack of it yet. So this is just, like, when this gets down to about half or, you know, a stack or two, then I'll go flip the switch and I'll fill it right back up. So, it'll be, it's pretty cool. Uh, these guys, these have been out of strainers for a while. I have not, it has not been in my, in my list of things to do to replenish the strainers in this right now. Um, so, that's something I will do at some point, but not too concerned with it right now because I was usually I was making that to get like iron scraps pretty to be honest that's pretty much it to get all the scrap pieces of iron that I could to to turn into steel and iron bars so I can make all these machines but now the moment we've all been waiting for um as far as the ends concerned the loot that I got is uh 51 tungsten 44 Sheldonite, which I don't really know what either of those are for. Tungsten can be used in Tinker's uh, Construct, but I'm not sure if there's other things. Like, there's some chemical mod in here I have to look into at some point. And then uh, this uh, Saladite, uh, an aluminum dust I got from the end as well. I'm not sure where... I don't know where this came from, but I, it was in my inventory from the end, so it just made it into a bunch of chests. <sighs> now, here's a ridiculous amount of stuff I got from, from, um, the end, um, these, at least this was all in chests, so all of the equipment is going to get melted down, like, that, all of it has, like, two durability, I have no use for it, but the other stuff, the other stuff is kind of cool, so let's clear out some of this junk, I'm just going to do what I've been doing and just dump everything into like one place and we're just going to take all this and see I don't know if I can melt diamond stuff in the furnace but if I can it makes me think that I might I might be able to able to melt those other diamonds and make um and make something like um man I wish I could find the freaking words you know find the words um, but, um, I don't know if diamond will melt in there, but if it does, there's a mod that when you mine diamonds, it gives you these here, like, uncut diamonds. If I can melt them down, I'd be able to use them. So, that's something that, that I, I want to look into. But, for right now, let's see what we can get rid of, because there is a great deal of this stuff that is completely useless to me. Uh, Master Knife. Enchanted, awesome. Two durability. Yeah, crap. Okay, so that, that's not going to go. I know that'll go. Two durability. That'll definitely go. That will go. That will go. That will go. That will go. Go, go, go. All right. Uh, iron knife. That'll go too. Cool. I don't know if that came out of my personal collection or not, but it's fine. They're not. I don't think they're hard to make. Oh, it'll take that too. Cool beans. I don't know about this guy, we'll find out, now he's a no, so let's do that here, we'll put this guy here, and then, if this stuff doesn't go, that's fine, I'll find a place to hang it on my wall, so, 
and I'm not I'm not too heartbroken about it. I think they're cool looking, but the thing that's sad about it is there's only two durability, so it looks like none of this stuff's gonna go. Uh, let's see if I can look up uh, diamond chest. Um, are they like not even in here? Uh, they like a, so diamond armor isn't even in here. So what can I do with it? <laughs> I wonder if I throw it in the pulverizer. <laughs> uh, we'll just guess we'll just store this somewhere. I think I have an empty chest over here. Yeah, this will do. This is where I put. This is where I. Uh, I'm gonna put all the end swords and the ender bows and stuff till I figure out what exactly I can do with them. I kind of want to go through and take care of like the equipment first, and then we'll get into like the more fancy stuff. And I already know a bunch of that isn't gonna melt, but that is fine. It is fine by me. And okay, let's uh, we can pop those bows in there right away because I know a wooden bow and arrow is not going to melt. And we can get rid of all this diamond junk too, because well, I know those ain't gonna melt. But now this other stuff has potential it has potential now these things i gotta see if i can activate on that pedestal i kind of feel like that's how you do that i just haven't had time to check it out yet so we're gonna we're gonna work on that at some point or another um so that's probably not gonna melt these will melt though okay so these guys won't melt let's uh I don't want to clear out some of this junk. I'll fill this up with cool weapons. Now that I have the, uh... <coughs> now that I have cool weapons to actually use. Uh, the wooden sickle is kind of cool. I like it, but... I think I'm going to throw it in a different... Actually, I think I'm going to throw it away. That's gar. It's garbage, stone club, garbage. I don't really want to get rid of that. This low durability bow can go. This and this might have a use at some point. Now, as far as that's concerned, we'll figure that out later. But I'm thinking a bunch of these iron things are going to go like right in the trash. If I can't melt them down... They're pretty much useless to me because I'm not going to use them. So let's grab those out of here. Um, I want cool diamond weapons I can put on the rack and cool unique weapons I can put on the rack. Um, I guess this big hammer would be kind of cool. And this big battle axe. And probably this glaive. So, okay. So I want to check one more thing. Now let's see, what we'll take this guy back? It will take that. All right, cool. And I'm going to throw these away. I mean, yeah. It's kind of sad. Took up my inventory space. It probably could have fit more cool stuff, but figured if I can melt it down, it'd be a cool little bonus. But obviously, I cannot. Now, where is this going to look the coolest at? I don't like it there. I think, yeah, I think I'll give it its own little thing. Bam! I think that looks so cool. Alright, let's, uh... I don't know what I want to do with these, either. I think we could do, like, that. And that. Probably the glaive in the middle. Alright, cool. And then I'll, we'll start filling this up with swords, in, in particular, if I can. I think it'll look cooler. So... That takes care of that. Now let's get into some more of the junk that we got here. Um, got a bunch of these here graph tools, which 
actually worked very well. Um, because, well, I used it to get um, saplings from a teak tree. And I got about 15 saplings using, using the graft tool. The thing is, I got so many of them. So, like, yeah, the graft tools are cool. But in the end, there's a ton of these graft tools. I'll just throw those in there for now. <laughs> the Elytra can go in there. The one thing I forgot about the Elytra is that it takes the place of your chest plate, which is kind of upsetting, but it's whatever. Not not gonna not gonna cry about it. Uh, eventually, once I get it set up, it'll be it'll be nice flight. So, guess we'll throw these in here for now. These grafting tools are from forestry, which I should have. I should put them with the forestry stuff, but I'm just not. This can go in here. All that can go with the forestry stuff. I wonder what happened to the ring I had. Oh, there it is. All right, so it is in here. So we can throw these in here too. All right, and the dragon head is gonna go with miscellaneous treasures, which is probably a place I should put those rings, but it's fine. It's fine. It's cool. And then we got all this junk, which looks like a bunch of ingots too, which is kind of cool to replenish a little bit of my a little bit of my deficit that I created. Um, so these things here, Ender IO, um, they're different. Like it's kind of like Ender IO enchantments. You put them on swords and stuff. Like I never actually delved that far in Ender IO, um, which I, I probably should have. But I usually could beat the Ender Dragon without getting this, you know, technologically advanced. So I really don't look into it too much. But it looks like we got a bunch of these, and they do different things. Uh, this is like for empowered bows and stuff, and you can do it with the sword. It gives it better uh, power. The shader, gra shader grab bag is something I want to look into. So we click this guy. It gives us... <laughs> shader Darkfire can be applied to... Chemical Thrower, Railgun, Minecart, Balloon, Mining Drill, Banner, Revolver, or Plated Shield. So, it doesn't look... Oh, yeah, mining drill's wonderful. I don't know what it... See, I wish I knew what it did. That would that would help me make decisions. Like, it would help me decide if I knew what it actually... You know, what it actually did. Uh, now, here's a problem. I'm running out of space. In this chest. So, I want to, like, organize this junk out. But right now, we don't have time for that. So, let's, uh... I think I have another empty one down here. We'll just throw, like, the Ender IO power-ups in here. We'll just throw it all in here. Everything that I don't have a particular place for uh, right now can go uh, in here. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Arcane scroll here. Miscellaneous treasures can get the Enderman head. These guys... Um, the soul vials can go in here, because I don't know what to do with those right now. And ingots. Got a couple ingots. Iridium and platinum. Which I'm guessing I didn't get that from. Oh, I probably did. I probably did get it from the end. And I guess we could throw the other shader in here, too. Because the, the shader I got is... Where does it say... I thought it said, oh, Shader Ancient, which I don't know what the... Dark Fire sounds better than Ancient, but I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna change it, because I don't know if I get it, if I can get the uh, Shader back, so... I don't think we're gonna do that. Uh, now this junk, I'm not sure what to do with um, these different ores. I didn't really look into it. What did I just do? What was in my hand? I just did something with it. Alright. Well, I guess, you know, if it was important, I would... If it was important, I would know what it was. Right? I mean, that's kind of like my, my thought process to most of these things. If it was important, I would have known, I would have remembered it, or something, right? Okay, so let's look up Tungsten and Sheldonite. 
Tungstan. Diamond Tungsten. Tungstan. Right. I guess it's spelled some other way. E N, not A N. All right, whatever. Uh, so this looks like I can grind it into tungsten dust. Looks like iron and magnesium. So this is something to do with Tech Reborn, which I kind of figured with the Tech Reborn underneath of it. But I figured the way this mod pack is uh, trying to be so intricate that it would have other uses. But I noticed that like. They overlooked a couple of things, like one thing in particular that really kind of makes me mad is that they didn't or dictionary sawdust. So one type of sawdust can't be used for another thing, so it, it makes like the different types of sawdust very specific and even more useless. <coughs> and this looks like platinum dust, cool, alright. So that's got to be waited to get processed, I would suppose, I suppose, so that can just be thrown in there. And I guess we can throw the Soul Delight in there, too. And I guess we can get this different... Where did I store all those things? There, the grafters. And I guess we could throw most of this forestry stuff in our forestry chest. Try to keep things... I'm trying to keep things relatively organized. Um, I was going to go and change... Um, I was going to go and change the water wheels, so I'd have uh, three of them, but I don't know if it's if it's touching this one, if it's going to mess it up. You can only do three in succession, so, like, if I did, if I had three and I had it all hooked up to this one, if I broke this one and put it back, would it be independent of these two and I could still not have to have this wall here? I don't know. I, I guess maybe I'll just try it, like... Like, I don't, I don't know what to do. Like, it sounds like a good idea. Just give it a shot. Or I won't. I mean, right now, the power is... Power's pretty good. So, not too much to worry about, I, su I suppose. Um, I've had my... I've been periodically changing the bees out. But I haven't really been doing too much. Like, this guy... This guy got nothing. Like, there was a honeycomb in here. Like, before I started this guy. So, like, he did literally nothing. I don't know if he'll... I'll, I'll get bees out of him. I kind of this honeycomb here, too. I wonder if I have to take it out for them to spawn new ones. No, because I kind of think that one had more in it. I don't really know. Oh, it doesn't matter. I, I'm inter I was interested in the bees mod. I, I'm, I'm... That is, you know, wholeheartedly the truth. I, I, I am I was interested. I did want I did want to learn more about it, but it doesn't seem like it's going to have any kind of profitable outcome whatsoever. Like the amount of time I'm putting into it is going to be a lot more work than, you know, necessary. <coughs> so I gotta keep remem remembering to turn the magnet off before I go into this building. Because I'll suck everything off the conveyor belts. And that is something I am not interested in doing. So this guy looks like he's pretty much done. Uh, I don't know if I can get up there without getting, like, electrocuted by something. There's a wire there. See if I, like, look at a nice angle. Pow. Hey, it worked. Alright, so I got rid of that out of my inventory. Good stuff. Okay, so this guy is doing his thing. Got a good amount of various materials. I mean, I'll be set for iron, nickel, and tin for quite a while. The sad part is, when I decide to move that, I want to make sure I have such a backstock of iron, tin, and that other junk that it's like straight up ridiculous. So then when I move the, the thing again over to here again so it can mine the... Uh, the copper and golden stuff that I don't have to worry about moving it for a while so I can like get a major backstock of this because I do have a pretty good backstock of this but I use a bunch of it for the drawers and a bunch of it for the chests I used a ton of gold for storage and that's like that's just you know I should have had a bigger backstock I, I think 
which I, I don't know. I guess I shouldn't really complain because I think I got like, what, 15 stacks of gold bars left yet? 17 stacks of gold bars. Where am I at on copper? Six stacks of copper. So, I mean, I'm still doing pretty good, but I kind of wish I would have would have used more. Okay, I had this completely full, all right? I used that much for treated wood to make all the water wheels and stuff and whatever else needed treated wood. So I used, like, I don't know, probably close to, like, eight full tanks of this creosote stuff. Eh, probably not that much, but I used a lot of it. I've been kind of just, like, dumping it out now because, like, if, if I have the time, I can just dump it out because it seems to take so much. Um, I had to figure out a way to get rid of the beetroots, so I took a stack of beetroots to turn into rose red dye. And then I took uh, more of the beetroots and I made it into... Ah... Uh, not gonna right click it with a with a die and turn it red. Although I could turn them all red. It'd be a nice change. Then I I can turn the beetroots into bunches of beets. It's a repurpose mod thing. Uh, kind of like how I did it with the uh, the eggs. Where are the oh here they are the clutches of eggs. <coughs> so it's eight eggs per thing in a stack. So it saves a lot of space. So I didn't want to just throw the beets away because I could use them as a filler vegetable for kebabs. I can use six of them to make straight up beet soup. I mean, there's a lot of things I can do with it that would make it worthwhile having. Um, so before this episode's over, let's claim up the different quests that I have achieved. Because we got the Arc Furnace, which means we can move on to the Industrial Revolution, I think. Or the Ag... Yeah, yeah, I think it's the Industrial Revolution now. So... Uh, I made the lantern. I didn't like it. I put it. It's in my. Uh, it's in my uh, tech. Yeah, tech guns. Um, immersive engineering chest. I only made one. I didn't care for it. I, I like the. Uh, the fancy dungeon tactics lanterns. I think they're pretty cool. No power required. Uh, the assembler, was the the item, uh, the auto crafter. I did not make a distiller or a boiler, but having the items in my inventory gives me the quest. I did not, I don't know what these do exactly. Uh, distilling is pretty much when you take um, a liquid and you remove water from it at various heat temperatures or, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. It, it, it's kind of like separating a liquid by temperature gradients. Uh, so if you heat up uh, ethanol or alcohol is a good one, moonshine. Uh, you take moonshine, you you make um, you make your standard you know closet jailhouse wine, and then you take that jailhouse wine and you can freeze distill it, which isn't as safe. So if anyone's listening to this, uh, freeze distillation is not that safe um, for consumption. It's a it's a safe process, but to drink it afterwards, you're you're condensing the good and the bad alcohol. Uh, fermentation process does ethanol and methanol. And methanol can cause blind blindness. That's how people go blind with uh, drinking straight moonshine if it's not distilled properly. And, um, yeah, I don't know how I got on the subject. Anyways, um, distillation is, like, you, you, you boil. I don't want to say boil. You bring, you get a bottle, take a bottle of wine, and you put it in a pot, and you put a lid on said pot with a copper tube coming out of it that spans many feet. And then you can run it through like an ice bath or something. And then whenever you, you got to bring it up to a certain temperature. So it evaporates off just the alcohol. So um, water boils at like, you know, I don't, I don't remember. It's, I haven't been in any kind of school for quite a while. But water boils at some degree of temperature. But both forms of alcohol... Um, boil off at a, at a very earlier temperature, but that's where you that's where heads and tails comes in, because then um, the very beginning of the drip that you get from um, <coughs> excuse me, the very beginning of the drip that you get from um, the the process can be um, a little bit of methanol, 
and I think the very end of the drip can be a bit, little bit can be meth, can be a bit of methanol. So your end product is a much more concentrated ethanol, which is what you want. Ethanol is the chemical that gets you drunk without really bad repercussions. Uh, methanol, when it's concentrated, I'm pretty sure that's the thing that causes blindness. So um, there's a little little science lesson, and don't quote me, please. I mean, t tell me if I'm wrong because I am like I, I was a big fan of chemistry and biology, and I love alcohol, so I learned a bunch of things, and um, but my information isn't always accurate. I, I try to take everything with a grain of salt from the sources in which I get my information. So, you know, if I say something that is incorrect, please correct me because I probably actually believe it to be true. So, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry, I got, like, way off topic, but the easiest... Th Ooh, an ancient coin. I wonder what that does. But the easiest way for me to describe distillation is through alcohol because that's, like, the most common practice people... I mean... That and distilled water, in which the case distilled water is, you bring, you bring water to a boil, and you collect the steam, to, because everything else would settle out in the bottom, and that's why you would, that's why you would do distilled water, or how you do distilled water, why you do distilled water, how you do distilled water, eh, however you want to look at it, but distilled water is basically pure water vapor. It's pretty much as pure as you can get, because it's straight up you know, steam. Yay, we got nothing. Well, let's, uh, let's find a safe spot to do this. Um, you know what I'm feeling? No, I don't want to do it at my base. It took me a while to clean up the last couple of messes. All right, let's uh, get off that. And let's go up here. Maybe find a safe spot. By the way, you guys can see the mini map. I cannot. But for some reason, in this particular area, there were so many freaking chickens. Like I killed like, ooh, is this that super sword? Negative one thousand five hundred and fifty-six durability. The divine sword. This is the. This is pretty much like the top tier thing you can get for the chance cubes. But yeah, look, chickens spawn here like insano, like so much. It didn't break. It has negative fifteen thousand or thousand five hundred durability. It should have broke first hit. Tell me it's. Tell me it doesn't break. <coughs> that would be <coughs> incredible. Okay, well, maybe I'll use this for a little while. I'm still pretty sure my sword's better. Uh, does 12.5 damage, sharpness 10. I'm not sure how that how that works together, but my sword does 13.6. So, and the attack speed's probably way better. 2.24. Is it a bigger number better or a smaller number better? I would imagine mine would be faster because it's it has haste on it, so I would imagine that 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 is a that that would be better than the diamond sword. So my sword should be better than this one. I think I'm going to use this one till it breaks, just because you know it is the greatest chance cube thing you can possibly get. I think. I mean, I, I think it's one of the best. Um, the divine sword. I think that's one of the best things you can get. But don't don't quote me on that either, because. Unfortunately, in this in this stage of the game, my Minecraft is about as good as my science. I know some stuff. Uh, Rusty is a bit of an understatement because I kind of like I don't know. I got I got put in a sit. I'm in a situation where I'm so secluded from knowledge and so, so secluded from bettering myself that I pretty much rely on my memories to get to further my intellect that I have now. So, yeah. What did I... What happened? I don't know what happened. Oh. 
obviously I'm lagging. So whatever I did, did something bad. I think I'm going to end the episode here. Um, right now the, the thing is frozen. Um, I know we didn't do much this episode, but I really had a lot of... I really did a lot behind the scenes, so I had a lot I wanted to, like, kind of get out there. Um, now, in particular, if I don't think this is going to reload in time, but um, we can get on to the next stage of the game, which I hopefully means we can probably get... Well, let, let's take a quick look. Um, Industrial Revolution? Yeah, now we can get into... Uh, these kind of machines, which I don't think is def I don't think is going to get us our storage unit yet, but this will get us. We can start doing stuff with Tech Reborn, which I'm not sure how good that's going to be, but I, it does like. I think it has some really cool generators, and rubber's a good thing too. So, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll get into that next episode. And catch you next time.